Yo, what is up guys? What is going on? Zach or Mortal Resistance here. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And if not, maybe this video can make your day a little bit better. And today, guys, I am super excited to be bringing you guys my very first Advanced Warfare video. Today, you guys are watching my very first few games of Advanced Warfare. I believe I was playing with some pretty noticeable guys as well. I think FaZe Agony was in this game, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I'm I'm using the Ball 27 Assault Rifle. Um, I was still getting used to the game at this point. You guys can see I just hit level 2 right there in the gameplay. And uh, today we're going to be talking about some basic tips and tricks to help you guys be a good player on day 1 or day 0 if you want to refer to it as that. So let's jump right into those. First off, I do want to note this game does feel new. The movements in this game, they take getting used to. I'd say I have about probably four or five hours of multiplayer already, and I'm still not entirely used to the movements within this game. Uh, the exo movements, the dash, the uh, the cloak, every single piece of the movements in this game feels like it's an entirely new thing. It still feels like Call of Duty, but you definitely are going to have to get used to it. And I'd say the first biggest thing that you guys are going to want to focus on is uh, finding the right sensitivity for you guys. I, there are 27 sensitivities in this game. I, I think in Ghosts I played on like a 4 or 5 sensitivity and in this game I'm on like a 9 or 10 because if you're on that lower sensitivity uh, you're not going to be able to keep up with the movements of the players in this game. Uh, especially if you're trying to ADS down a hallway. If people can dash left and right up and down and uh, you're just not going to be able to keep up with them and they're, they're going to end up killing you if you don't have that right sensitivity. So find a sensitivity that fits you, that you're comfortable with and, uh, and rock that because uh, that's a huge factor in this game. Another big thing would have to be learning the controls of your character. Now it is still pretty similar depending on what button layout you play on uh, with past Call of Duties. I mean I play on tactical because I use a scuff controller so that's pretty basic but as far as dash movements go and exo abilities go uh, you're going to want to get used to those because those can be extremely helpful. Say you're in a gunfight and the other person lands a few more shots on you first you're going to want to dash around that corner and get away from him as soon as possible. Uh, the time to kill in this game it seems very very balanced. I really am satisfied with the time to kill in this this game. Uh, it does take a little bit to kill, but it's not like instant like Call of Duty Ghosts was. I'd say it's very balanced, uh, but it does take some getting used to, and you do have to have a decent amount of gun skill, especially if you're trying to kill someone at a range and they're using their dash or any of uh, any of their other exo movements. It's very hard to lock onto a target at a distance in this game, and that sort of leads back to the sensitivity factor. You're going to have to find the sensitivity that fits your aim, that fits your playstyle, and you're also going to want to know the basic movements and uh, how to dodge an enemy if you happen to be on the losing side of a gunfight. Another huge thing is going to be learning the maps. Uh, the maps in this game are very, very vertical. Uh, since you do have like the jetpack jump, you jump a lot higher, you can dash to places, and it, it, the, map, the maps, I love the layouts. It's something new, and there's a lot to each map. So maybe jump into a private match before you're jumping into a public match, and uh, learn the maps a little bit, learn where you want to go, take the routes that you think would be best for you, and uh, that's definitely going to lead to some success on your end if you're not jumping around randomly, getting stuck in corners and things like that while all the other enemies are, you know, jumping tactically into the right places or whatnot. The final tip I want to give you guys is use your XO abilities to your advantage. I believe everyone starts off with the XO shield, which is a super helpful exo uh, ability say you see uh, you see a guy on the other side of the map he gets a few shots off on you or say he's around a corner or something you're hurt you're weak pull out the exo shield dip behind that corner and then sort of peek out every once in a while try and scout out where the enemy is take down that exo shield and get that easy kill uh, definitely using your exo abilities is going to be a huge huge factor in this game and uh, hopefully these are just some basic tips that can help you guys on day one so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys in my next one here on my channel so stay happy Stay positive and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. Alright, thank you guys so much for stopping by this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can catch all the future content here on my channel. And you guys can also check out the other two videos on the screen right now by clicking the annotations that will take you to another tab. So you guys can check out those videos as well. Hopefully you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.